Right, hello and welcome. So, today we are going to be talking about one of the best events added to Grand Theft Auto 7 that's actually going to disappear in a few hours. So, this is the All Japan GT Championship. In my opinion, this has to be the best weekly challenge yet. It is a limited time event because once it hits Thursday at 23.59, this event is gonna disappear and who knows when it's gonna be brought back hopefully soon but hey let me dive into why this event is so special so this event consists of you using well whatever vehicle you want yes you can there's no limitations so if you want to jump into anything from a little fiat 500 all the way up to a tomo vision gt that's completely up to you but i say if you jump into something completely futuristic well you're missing all points of this event because this event sees us competing against all of the cars that are absolute icons all of the vehicles from the legendary dealership we are looking at racing against the classic and iconic gt races from the 90s. This includes the Toyota Supra GT500, the Honda NSX GT500, there's a Ferrari F40, Lamborghini Diablo, there's a McLaren F1. There's so, there's such a variety of iconic vehicles that honestly tore up the racing scene in the early to late 90s. So, this event is truly what Grand Cinema players have been dying for. What they've been asking to be added to the game for, well, since the time the game came about. And the crazy thing about it is that when Grand Cinema finally did add the game, they, de they decided, you know what, let's only make it available for a week. And that's truly a crime because they dangled the fish in front of us and said, look, you hungry? Yeah, you see, we can do it. Yeah, it's only here for a week. They <laughs> honestly just did us so dirty with this. But hopefully, we do see this event being added permanently to the game. But more in fact, what I would love to see is this actually coming as a proper championship. Because with them saying this is a, an All Japan GT Car Championship, what I would love to see is them actually bring in the championship feature once again because when we are playing through the menu books of Grand Theft Auto 7 we came across different championships and this would be the absolute ideal for a new championship because if we take these same vehicles around various circuits from just Fuji International Speedway we can jump on over to Daytona International Look, I know it's not keeping it as the old Japanese touring car championship, but hey, it's still gonna allow for us to use absolutely iconic vehicles around some iconic circuits. And look, I'm not even saying, oh, we need a million credits for this event. The thing is, I never played this event for the credits because I just wanted to experience what we've honestly been asking for for the longest time. And that is a quality event using vehicles that, if we're going to be honest, we don't really use that often. Puts it against each other. Because, look at it like this. We aren't using our modern GT3 cars, which are outdated, but we're not even going to dive into that. We are only purely competing against classic 90s vehicles that are, honestly, icons. I know I've said the icon word before, but honestly, this event is fantastic because look, 10 laps around Fuji International Speedway. With me being in the Honda, in the Honda NSX GC500, it took me a total of 16 minutes. Now the thing is, for a lot of players, that 16 minutes was not enough. I've seen people commenting and saying, you know what, we need endurance events like this. We need the same setup but for a long endurance event. People are talking about doing your 2.4 hour events, you know, simulating the 24 hours around a circuit. So imagine these vehicles around Le Mans for 2.4 hours. 
I think that would be absolutely fantastic. I know it won't be everyone's cup of tea, you know, playing for that long of a duration, but for those die-hard players that have, have a little bit of time on their hands, it would be such a rewarding experience to actually dive in, compete against these vehicles, have race strategies, and just truly experience Gran Turismo how Gran Turismo once was. Now, if they do add the event back in that frame, well, it's just going to be incredible. I would love to see, as I said, this race come back with other events and form a proper championship. Damn, I'll even take a menu book at this point. But we just need to experience this event a lot more. This is an event that we've needed for a very long time. And look, yes, the payout, you are only getting 150,000 credits. So it's not really the new way to make money. But you aren't using this as a money grinding experience. You aren't using the race for the purpose of money grinding. You want to use vehicles that you spend millions upon millions of credits because I mean look with these vehicles coming from the legendary dealership you want to stretch their legs actually feel and experience what these race cars are all about and there's no better way to actually experience them against cars from the same time period with the same purpose and what I love is the attention to detail with deliveries yes I know deliveries are not spot on because all the liveries that are applied to the AI vehicles are used with default decals that are available in the delivery editor. But what I love is that they have symbolized. You can look at some of these vehicles and see, okay, that resembles so and so race car. For example, the Cal Sonic GTR. You can see where it comes from, and that's what I love about it. That they had tried to make it as accurate as possible they try to make you relive the classic the glory days of gt racing and once again this was the best event that i played in grand Turismo 7 in long like in a very long time don't get me wrong the events in grand Turismo 7 are fun they are cool but this really brought back the experience and made me realize what we are missing in this game so we need more of this. I'm pleading to Polyphony, to the developers, to please add more of this. This is what we've been asking for, and we need to see it being a proper addition to the game, and not just a weekly challenge, not just a daily race. Now, the thing is, why I bring up daily races? Because we see that daily races have actually come to single player. For example, that around special routes X, we have a Clubman Cup Plus. This is a 720 points restricted event with straight restrictions of you having to use super soft tires. And this event, in fact, actually comes from, yes, this was previously, and I mean, it still is, a daily race in Grand Turismo 7. It was a daily race A that I participated in and I found to be one of the most fun events. And the fact that they brought it to single player for you to just test out and try out new events with your own, to just try out new vehicles with this event makes it absolutely fun and still quite a challenge. So we see they have brought events that have just been in a rotation and brought it to the base game so i would love to see him do the exact same with this old jap with the old japan gt quad championship so hey let me know your thoughts on this event in the comment section down below i would say if they added the tire wear and fuel consumption it would make it just a bit more realistic but even with it having no tire wear no fuel consumption it is still a fantastic event that i will happily play again so with what's being said thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time and i will see you guys in the next class most video peace